Hello guys, so I'm back. Um, it's the end of the month, so we're gonna do a what I made in October video. So I didn't make like too many things, but I'm working on like two paintings. So that is why, as you know, when I'm working on like a painting, I tend to make less stuff throughout the month. Um, but I'll also show you the two paintings that I'm working on and just everything that I made this month. So let's begin. I made like a lot of accessories, I guess. Like so much jewelry, so I guess I'll just start with that. So my mom was like cleaning out her closets and she found those like saint bracelets. Uh, so I made a little choker out of one. Like these random beads that we had found, found somewhere. I think it was just like a part of a broken bracelet. So I reused the beads and reused saints and just like put it on like an elastic chain and tied it to like one of these clasp things. Um, and I think it's so cool. I just like how big they are. Like, they just look sick. And like I saw them and she was getting rid of it so I was like, oh wait, that would look so sick on a choker, like the whole neck. Like with like an outfit and whatnot. I haven't styled it yet. I don't know when I will, but hopefully before this video so you can see like a picture of it styled, but I'm not sure. So I did that. And then I made this like really cool charm necklace. Um, so this is just like a bunch of stuff that I had found lying around. This was from like a keychain. This is just a poly pocket that I had in the basement somewhere. I had to like glue her back together because her legs were falling apart. Um, this was a Tamagotchi keychain that my boyfriend had in his house, I guess, because they're like in the middle of moving with his parents. So they just have like random stuff that they've been finding. Um, so yeah, they have like three of these, so I was able to take one. And then the Tamagotchi, obviously, which I also found when my mom was cleaning her closet out. And this I had since like high school or middle school. This like little robot and I just like always kept it because I just liked him. And we have this little Sailor Moon charm. And then these little blue flowers are so cool. They were on like a... Like, um, they were like one piece, like a necklace, I guess, from like my great grandma or something, but it was falling apart. So I took it all apart and just saved it, like, as the charms. And I think they're so cute. There's still more, too. And they just have like these little pearls inside. And then this was just from some chain that I had laying around. And the pearls and the other beads are also like just from like random stuff that I accumulated <laughs> um but yeah how fun is this I seen some girl who I follow um wearing a necklace like this like a chunky crazy like charm necklace full of like nonsense but I, I like wanted one as soon as I saw hers and I was like oh I could totally make that once I just accumulate enough charms and I finally have it kind of reminds me of like the charm belt that I made this is like literally nothing crazy it's just an evil eye necklace that I had made. This was from a keychain someone gave to me. Actually, the same keychain as the heart on the other necklace. Um, I just took it apart and put it on a chain. And yeah, it's just very simple. And then I made this really sick necklace. It's like a Matchbox car necklace. But... They're like little baby matchbox cars. They're so cute. I uh, always wanted to make the belt that was like, like I don't know if it was viral or whatever, but it's like all over Pinterest. This like girl who made like a matchbox belt, which I did make, which I'll show you next. But when I was in the box looking at all of our like matchbox cars from when we were children, me and my brother, well, I guess they're just his. I don't think I played with these. <laughs> Um, I found these little tiny baby ones and I was like, this would be so cute as a necklace. So I just put it on stretchy string and added these little beads. 
and yeah it's so cute like how fun is that they're just a bunch of little colors um okay so let me show you the belt so i just went to the thrift store and got this like random black belt for like two dollars and wired all of the matchbox cars on here they're so cool because there's so many like cool ones like this little snake thing and this like dragon like they really got creative with these cars back then i'm sure you can make them like i think like i'm sure you can make this belt if you don't have the cars like i think they still sell these in the store right they're probably just not as cool as the old ones i would imagine like these are all from like 1990 to 1995 I guess I don't know um like that's so sick and the panther hold on my favorite one is this guy like what is this it's a literal toilet it's so funny and like this like pimp car <laughs> and this one too and it glows in the dark um, yeah, so I just like wired them together, just like tied like wire on the wheels and around the belt, and that's why I made it. It was pretty simple. Obviously, it just took some time, but once you get like the hang of it, it goes by pretty quick. But yeah, you can never have like the same belt because you can't like get. All of these same cars anymore i think like they only make one of each or something i don't know they only they make different ones each time i guess i don't know i have no idea about these cars they're my brothers <laughs> okay so that was all the jewelry that i made um and then let me show you these little figurines that i had painted for halloween so cute my mom found these guys at michael's like the little what is this ceramic like figures and i just like painted them he's so cute a little pom-pom and a pumpkin and then hello kitty and a pumpkin she glows in the black light i don't think i made him glow i think his sparkles glow and that's it but they're so cute and i just have them on my shelf right now for halloween and i'll just keep them around for when i actually move That'll be a part of my Halloween decor. Okay, so then I only made like one, two, three, four, five, five clothing items. Uh, so first I made these little clown bloomers out of some old shorts that I had. These were like my old pajama shorts, but they were kind of just like not cute. <laughs> I just did not want to wear them anymore. They were just too big and they like, looked weird. So I added some other tie-dye that I had laying around and just like patchworked it together. Um, I only like sewed the top part like backwards and then I just put these like on top of each other and sewed them together with a zigzag stitch. Um, and I added some little buttons here, just like some random buttons and then just added lace at the bottom to give it that like clown vibe with like the elastic over here to tighten it and these bows actually were from my niece her birthday my mom had made like her a thing like a what's the thing that they eat in the like high chair thing with the table that they eat in i don't know she was turning like one i think um but she like decorated it. it was like Alice in Wonderland themed so she had this ribbon and she didn't know what to do with like the awning thing after so obviously we just reused the ribbon so that's what this is from it's such a cute ribbon and like so clown vibes and then I just like sewed a button in the middle so it like looks nice but yeah these are so fun I actually wore them to work already um because I dressed up as a clown and it was so cute but i will wear these like on the regular like this is just not a costume to me <laughs> and i made these sick ass hello kitty pants that 
like I'm obsessed with. Oh, I can't wait to wear these. I'm just waiting for October to end so I can wear my non-Halloween themed clothes. But look how cute these are. This was from my old pillowcase from when I was like a kid. This little Hello Kitty right here. It's like super faded. I was gonna go over it with paint to like bring the colors back to life, but I kind of don't mind it being faded. And that now that it's like behind the pink background, it kind of looks cool. I don't know. Maybe I'll paint it another day or some point. And then it just says Hello Kitty here. And those were some other Hello Kitty sheets I had found at a thrift store. And I just put like a little bow there with a little star charm. And like this little silver charm that my godmother had gave me when she was cleaning out her house. I don't know. Um, they were clip-on earrings though. So I just took off like the earring part and then just sewed it on with the star. And then that little Hello Kitty fabric is from like some scrubs that I had bought off of like Depop like a while ago. Which I ended up making a dress out of. But that was just like the leftover. Um, but yeah, these pants are sick and they're so freaking comfy. And the waistband is actually from like the bottom of a sweater. Yeah, I think I even lined them too. I lined them with more bed sheets <laughs> that we had found in the closet when we were cleaning. Yeah, honestly, if I were to calculate how much these had cost me, it would be probably three dollars because I think the Hello Kitty sheets that I got at the oh wait with the scrubs probably eight bucks because the scrubs were like so cheap and the sheets that I found at the thrift store were literally 50 cents for like a big ass sheet and then everything else was just I had since forever and reused from like other things like the ribbons were reused from like a different shirt that I had made a while ago. Okay so then I made another pair of patchwork pants out of a quilt out of quilt scraps and I actually have a video of like the process of me making these so if you want to watch that I'll put the link down below um, but yeah these are so sick a client like actually made all the quilting stuff I just she gave me her scraps because she didn't want them anymore and I just sewed them together and made a pair of pants and then once again this is actually no this is just another waistband from a pair of sweatpants that I didn't need so if you want to watch that video it's actually pretty interesting because originally I was going to make this into a skirt um but it turned into pants because it just did not work out as a skirt. Okay. And then we have this fun little overall jumpsuit thingy that I made. It's just like a bunch of old t-shirts that I turned into a jumpsuit with some like fabric that I had. Um, yeah, you'll see it better when I put it on, but it is so comfy. I don't have like anything like this, like an overall type of thing. And the back just has like some patches over it. I'm pretty sure like at some point this is gonna have like more stuff to it. Like I'm definitely gonna add more patches to it and like more stuff like as I don't want certain things. You know what I mean? I feel like it's a work in progress. It's not like actually done yet. But like I'll wear it as it is now. Um, but I definitely think I want to add more patches to it just to like give it some more. I feel like it looks kind of plain right now even though it's like 70 different colors. <laughs> but I just feel like it needs something else. And then the last thing I made was a cup. Nothing crazy here. I just had this white cup laying around because Hello Kitty Cup decided to just like crack and be destroyed. I guess like ceramic now is just trash 
but I had this cup forever since like I was literally in high school and it's like porcelain apparently so I mean it's been lasting this long <laughs> like it's literally been lasting for like 15 years longer um so yeah I just it was just white so I made it cute and just did all these little hello kitty designs on the cricket and like sparkles and stars and yeah i'm excited to drink tea out of this and i walk out with so big like i love a big ass cup like this because i need to like refill it so much like right now i'm using this little frog thigh but like he's kind of tiny like I have to refill them very often. Like look at the difference in size of this. You know what I mean? It's just like the perfect size. And let me know what your favorite thing was. My favorite thing is probably the Hello Kitty pants and the charm necklace and the belt for sure. Um, but yeah, I, I love everything obviously because I made it. <laughs> I'm low key kind of sick. So like. Sorry for the low energy. Oh my god, I told you guys I was going to show you the paintings that I was working on and totally forgot. So let me show you guys this. I'm like bouncing back and forth between the two paintings. So like one day I'll work on this one and then the other day I'll work on another one. Um, but yeah, so I'm doing this guy. Which is just like supposed to be the inside of one of my other paintings. It's like it's supposed to be like a zoom in, which I'll show you. So it's supposed to be like the zoom in of her in the top. So like if you zoomed in to this little spot, you could get this. Um, that's why she's like the same color, kind of. Originally I had it like planned completely different. Like this was going to be like also rectangles all over and just like a plain background but then I was like this would look sick or if I just like went crazy on the detail and change it a little bit and still like have the same sort of vision but um I'm probably gonna do the little rectangles like slightly like fading behind her um just so I don't like get rid of any of this detail but it's nowhere near done actually uh, this is kind of like the beginning stage of like the backgrounds. I just have to like really go ham on the details and everything. Um, I'm gonna try to do like the rest of the sky and the mountains tomorrow. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll get to the rest of the details in here and whatnot. But yeah, I really like how this is coming out. And then the other painting that I'm doing is right here, is uh, this guy. Um, I really like how the moon came out. It like took me so long to do. I was just, just kept going and going and going. But the other day, I was looking at the moon, and it like the moon has just been so so bright and like crazy lately. I don't know. Um, but I saw it, and I just like saw this in my head. So, this needs obviously a lot of work. I have to do her still. She's just like an outline, basically. All we have done here is the moon, pretty much. Um, but look at that moon. I don't know if it's focusing right because it's on like the zoom out setting, but um, I'll put a picture. I feel I'm like really proud of this moon. <laughs> um, I'm doing like a northern light situation here because I wish I saw it. <laughs> And she's gonna have like DNA or like some sort of just like light coming out of her third eye into the moon, and the moon's just gonna glow in green. But yeah, those are the two paintings that I've been working on this month. So I don't know when they'll be done, but you guys will see when they're done. Make sure you follow me on the gram if you want to see updates of the paintings in like more real time okay so now that's it i'll see you next time bye